Hi everyone, welcome to this exciting tutorial. Today we are going to use Mark Plus and Figma. So by combining these tools, we will create wireframe inside Mark Plus and create high fidelity UI design in Figma. Mark Plus RP is a lightning fast online prototyping tool that empowers designers, developers and teams to create everything from quick sketches and user flows to interactive wireframe and advanced prototype in just a minute. Work directly in your web browser, collaborate with your team in real time, test on actual devices and share your design through a single link for feedback all without a single line of code. Mock Plus offers great deal up to 60% off on annual plans. For teams get 20% off starting at just $19.92 per user per month plus buy one year and get one year free. For individual only $79.2 per year plus buy one year get 6 months free. So come on and grab the deal. Offer ends on December 6, 2024. Okay, so here we are inside Mock Plus and the first thing we need is to click on the new button and here we will just rename our project so and we will select iPhone 14 preset click OK. Okay, so here is our artboard. We can select our artboard and press command 4 to fit to artboard and next we need in the compose tab click in the search and type image. So we can select image and this is basically a wireframe of image so we don't need to redesign from scratch. We have built in library here and we can just select item and grab it to artboard. Okay, next we need to make it 250 height. Okay, next we need search. Uh, sorry, in the search we can just type text or we can select text and grab it here. So the first text will be very Welcome back. Okay, and we can place it here at the top. So let's use 20 and 14 text size is fine. For the next, let's make it double. So 28, and here we will just type name of the user. So Alexander, here is our main user. So we can make it bold. Now select both these and make the spacing zero. Okay, next we need icon. So for the icon, we can click on the icon tab and select in the search. We will type download. So the first icon will be download so here we have multiple icon we can select this simple icon and place it here inside the artboard next icon we will be using for the search so let's type search and here is the search icon okay now select both text and press command g to group it and now select these and align it 20 is fine but from main spacing we will make it 40 okay so the user can easily click now let's duplicate this and let's reverse this so in the top section we will type movie name and here is the category of the movie okay 20 is fine for the icon let's try to use play here is the play icon which is pretty cool and we can just simply search and drag the icons click on add and here we can search for the add icon so i like this icon let's use this icon for the add this is our header area okay so now let's just duplicate the top section and let's delete this text we just need to ungroup this and let's type category name so this will be recommended okay and for the text size let's try to use maybe 20 20 is fine i think let's try to use 18 yeah 18 is fine so for the spacing let's use 40 and for the icon we will use arrow and this arrow is fine so let's use this and align it to the left side 20 is fine now let's group this and again click on the compose let's search for the image let's drag the image and let's try to use 20 and for the height let's make the image height 150 Now select all these images and let's try to use maybe 15 sorry 15 spacing yeah 15 is fine okay so now we have finished the recommended section now just duplicate this section and let's place it 40 so we can just simply rename this comedy and we can again duplicate only these two items with the spacing of 40 and let's rename this to continue watching okay so this is now continue watching section so we need a big player here and for the height let's make it 200 and next okay so here inside component we can just type progress bar we can select progress bar central line so it will show the progress of the movie okay now select again this section and paste it here on the top of the movie for this size let's make it maybe 18 or 20 20 is fine so let's use 20 so movie name is jennifer's body and here we will show the remaining time so let's say five minute remaining 
now we just need to duplicate these two section with the spacing of 40 and here we will type the horror the last category is okay so now we have completed our categories and continue watching section now the last part is the tab bar so let's type tab bar and let's see if we have the tab bar so we have the ios tab bar which is pretty cool and we have three item four item and five item so we need three item we will select three item tab bar drag it to the artboard let's place it 40 and now let's resize this okay now let's rename this to home second one is now let's search for the icon so now cut this and paste it here now let's delete this and center line okay now let's cut this icon and okay let's change the color of this icon to blue and text colors blue so this is the selected state and the rest is unselected now select the artboard and resize it press command 4 and pit to artboard and our wireframe is ready now we need to move to figma and design the high fidelity ui design okay so now we are inside figma and i just copy the wireframe low fidelity wireframe which i did in uh, mac plus and i just copy and paste inside figma now it's time to create high fidelity ui design so let's start first we need to select frame and on the right side from the preset we will select iphone 16 let's increase the height rename this to movies app home screen so next we need to select color and here we will just type neutral and we will select neutral zero click on the layout grid option click on the plus and select column here we will just type six column and margin will be 24 gutter will be 16 and here is our layout grid and our artboard is ready for design so let's start okay so the first thing we need to place the status bar so let's select our artboard and click on the assets type in the search status bar let's see if we can find status bar so here is our iphone status bar let's drag it to the artboard align it align it to the top turn up background and change the color to white okay and here is our status bar next we need to select frame tool click and figma by default will create 100 by 100 frame let's align it to the left side and top and make it to the full width of 393 and for the height let's use 300 and let's apply the pill color black or let's try to use neutral neutral will be fine make it to the send it to back okay so as we can see here in our wireframe in the header first here is small text and then the large text name of the user and here is some icon for download search movie name category play add to playlist so let's start from this section and then we will move on to this okay so first we need to select frame press shift 2 on the keyboard to zoom to selection press d on the keyboard to select uh, text tool and let's type welcome back okay and from the style select caption one or maybe caption two is fine so we need small text for this next duplicate this with the option key and for this text select both text and align it to the left side and again align it to the left now we need to select the alexander text and here we will select title 3 emphasized okay now select both and convert it to auto layout for the spacing we don't need spacing so let's make it to zero now we just need to change the color so that we can create our effects so let's make it light color maybe this color and uh, let's correct the spacing so we will be creating let's say 16 by 16 or maybe 24 by 24 is fine now select frame tool click and here we just need to simply make it 40 by 40 and for the spacing let's try to use large maybe 16 let's try to use some color so that we can check so i think 16 is large so let's make it medium will be fine yeah medium is fine so let's use okay so for the fill we will be use neutral zero and click on the effects and here we can just click on the glass effect okay so for the glass effect we if we want to see the effect so we just need to unlink this and decrease the opacity so let's try to use maybe 60 percent or 70 percent and also unlink this we will increase so let's try to use 16 maybe and now we need to place the image in the background so then we will see the effect clearly now it's time to select frame and here we just need to search for the icon so the first icon is download so let's search for the download icon and here as we can see this icon is good so let's drag it to the frame and and let's try to change the color to white for the size let's try to use 16 i think 16 is fine so let's use 16 okay so now as we can see we have uh, changed the stroke thickness so let's enter to the frame 
and make it one now we just need to simply to duplicate this and change the icon to search so here we just need to simply type search and i think this icon okay so here is our search icon so we just need to simply align it to the right side of the grid and here is our two icons okay so as we can see in the wireframe we place the play icon here but i'm thinking to place the play icon here uh, in the center so for this we just need simply to duplicate this icon align it to the center and we just need to press k on the keyboard and simply we will make it 2x i think is big so let's make it medium it's looking perfect so this will be the play icon here we just need to simply change the icon looking perfect make sure it's center line yeah now we just need simply to duplicate this text we will place it at the bottom maybe 24 or uh, let's try 48 for now and then we will check the size bring this text to the top we just need to simply double click and click on the upper arrow so it's already auto layout so we just need to simply bring it to the top so let's type we just need to make it to the auto bit now here we will just type category of the movie so it's action and uh, also adventure also make this auto bit and select the main frame and convert, uh, make it to the hook content okay and here is our movie name so we just need to instead of title 3 we will make it title 1 title 1 is uh, slightly bigger so let's try to use instead of large we will use title 1 mp size i think it's looking perfect let's make it 24 from the bottom let's duplicate the same icon here align it to this section make it 24 and this icon let's change it this is our ad icon now we just need to simply copy the image so i have already the image and i will just copy and paste inside send it to back let's run off grid uh, we can't see text like there is no contrast between the text and the background so for this instance we just need to simply select rectangle by pressing r key and we will create a rectangle now select both image and rectangle send it to back by pressing the bracket key align it to the top uh, left and top now let's make it black select gradient and also make this one great uh, black sorry and make it zero percent now let's align it okay so the top now let's slightly increase the height okay now we just need simply to duplicate this the shadow and also flip it the bottom text also need to be visible let's try to use red okay so it's looking perfect and now it's time to move to the next section and in wireframe as we can see the next section is recommended then comedy we will create this section and we will speed up the process so then we will create continue and the other two is also duplication so we will make the process faster okay so let's create recommended section turn on grid by shift g and select text tool and we will type uh, or maybe we can just do select frame and click create frame first to this size and uh, here we just need to cover the recommended section and the arrow and also for the height let's make it 40 for now for the radius let's try to use full for the color let's try to use red unlink convert it to gradient and let's turn on let's flip the gradient make it to zero this one is also need to be slightly okay so i think 50 is fine turn off grid let's select text tool and here we will just type okay so here we will just search for the sub headline emphasize okay for the spacing we will use 40 copy this icon paste here in this frame for the spacing let's try to use 24 from the left and right for this icon we will search for arrow let's make it white okay so as we can see in the wireframe now we need to create movies thumbnail slide from left to right so let's create first we need to select rectangle by pressing r key on the keyboard just click and make it 140 high for the roundness we will use 12 or 8 maybe let's try 8 we don't need that much roundness and let's make it 24 so i have already created the images so i will just simply copy the image and paste it here now delete this and paste inside the frame okay let's make it round now press command G to group it with the option key duplicate it. Next we need to click on effects and make it layer blur. We make it 20% blur. Send it to bake. Now we have blur shadow but it's too much so let's make it 50% opacity and let's bring this one slightly down so that we can see the red turn off grid so that we can clearly see the effect so this is some kind of glass effect drop shadow and now select okay and now we just sim need to simply duplicate this make it 40 change this one to uh, the next section is continue watching so let's make it 
let's try to make it 24 and turn on grid for the height we will use 200 and for the roundness let's make it slightly round so 12 is fine i have already the image for the cover so just copy paste to replace so this is the image it's 16 so let's make it 12 now copy the same shadow and paste it here and next we need to show the slider progress bar so types progress and drag progress align it with the grid so 24 and from here we will make it 50 percent so it show the 50 percent progress let's detach the instant we don't need instant of this so let's detach it and select the highlight one make it white for the unhighlight make it 50 percent let's simply make it the same width now let's bring it so let's try use 8 or 12 so let's make it 12 first so that it can be clickable okay now let's make it white here is our progress for the shadow we will do the same thing but i have already the image so copy paste let's center line send it to back slightly drop it so for the layer blur 40 is fine so i think let's try 50 50 looking good now as we can see in the wireframe we need two section more for the horror and fantasy so let's speed up the process simply duplicate this okay so for the footer we simply need to click on the frame and click for the color we will use so this is the color code for the opacity we will use 60 percent for the height let's make it 80 make it full width let's make sure that it is inside let's click on the effects and uh, sorry uh, background blur we will make it 20 percent so it's making some glass effect make it black so they make it 60 percent let's try 40 percent i think 40 looking good so we have already the icons copy this icon paste make it zero degree and select text make it home central line and caption regular 11 is fine so let's select both it is also fine let's try to make it 16 for the size let's use 24 we will do one thing to align it to the grid okay and now central line auto layout we only need three icons here so let's okay so home so here is the home icon for color we will use red and white here we will use now let's simply drop the opacity by pressing 5 50 percent and this is our footer now simply turn up grid okay so here is our design as we can see now just we can simply preview this our present so let's present this here is our movie app home screen okay i think it's looking pretty cool and we did a great job let me know in the comments please like the video and share thank you